A friend of mine once told me that reality is fungible. Um, so that's exactly what we're doing. We are funging reality. The last bit of that last episode um, didn't happen. Uh, yeah. We didn't die. Um, we didn't get blown up by, by one of the weakest races in the universe. Um, no, no, none of that happened. Now, despite the fact that it didn't happen, if it had happened, any of the information that we'd gathered um, from that previous session that, that didn't actually happen, um, we could still use, because uh, Starflight is not a game that locks parts of itself out until you uh, perform some sort of flag. Um, you can do anything at any time if you know what to do, and in fact, uh, we're going to be, I'm going to be showing you exactly how quickly you can uh, beat this game if you know exactly what to do. Alright. So, stand by to initiate launch. Oh heck, hang on. Stand by to initiate repairs of my armor. There we go. Captain launches. Confirm launch? Why, yes. Uh, hang on, let me pull up the codes. Actor on. The dodecahedron. And the mechanism. Eight three three nine six. All right. All right. Navigator maneuvers, and we are going to go talk to the Spemen again. Um, we're not getting anything out of the Velox, and the reason we're not getting anything out of the Velox is because they hate us. Um, your relations with the Velox started... Ah! Not a warp! I have no idea where I am now! There we go. Um, your relations with the Velox start at crab. And it takes a long time of paying eight Earth energy crystals by Jove before uh, they start to like you. So we're going to talk to the Spemin instead. This should be spim in space right here. Motion detected at X1. Y minus one. Oh come on, usually that works. Come on, you can do it. Oh man, we're just sitting here out in the middle of space, burning in durium. Yay, scanners indicate unidentified object. Bridge. Com officer, hail. Friendly. Hello? So, you wish us to identify ourselves? Do you think us fools? It is to our advantage to keep you guessing. Perhaps we are Ulet. Perhaps we are the Zootroid. We are simply too clever for you. Okay, uh, let's keep it on friendly posture for now and make a statement. I suppose you've heard of me before, hmm? Uh, no. No, I never have. Captain, they've armed their weapons. So vile and disgusting, you upright creatures. It is obvious that you wish to surrender now. You may do so, and then we will consider not destroying you. Okay. 
Time to bully the bullies. More alien ships have warped in. We require information. You will tell us about your race. You wish to know about the mighty Spemmon? Drop your defenses and we shall teach you. You require information? Here is some information. You will lie very soon. Please let us know if you need more information. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Communications have been terminated. Whoops. This is ISS Captain Reynolds of the Starship. ISS Serenity, identify yourselves immediately or be destroyed. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Navigator, ray shields, arm weapons, combat. Alien ship destroyed. Captain, we're being scanned. This is Captain Speed, the Spamming Ship 2. We are on a peace formation. We are bringing food to harmless, starving, young skeletoids of your kind. For their sake, please do not harm us. Okay, now will they talk to us? We believe that you are truly a kind and peaceful race who would not really harm us. This is true, isn't it? Sure, what the heck. Now, let's see if we can get some information. Certainly our race is up in, for instance, ancient times. In the War of the First Wave, we fought as allies against the Flagmac and Numlox, side by side, back to back, singing our songs of friendship. <laughs> More about the Spemmon. Our race worship and honors your kind. Uh, how wonderful it must be to be stiff and upright. Uh, we look upon you almost as gods. No, as more than gods, as, well, whatever is more than a god. Let's see if we can get something about somebody else. We do not know a great deal about other races. For some strange reason, that tend to stay away from us. Of course, we would gladly tell you what we know. All right, then tell us something. The Bellocks are an arrogant place of insects. We found that by pretending to worship them, sometimes they will not destroy us. Of course, you must not be thinking that we are only pretending to worship you, Reynolds. I, I give you the spamming word of honor. There is a race of machine humans. We do not understand their behavior. There is also the, pl the plant race and the reptile race. These races hate and despise each other. They fight and kill. This we understand. Anything else about other races? The Desertoid are a race of aquatic creatures who are what you might call insane fanatics. They believe that it is their destiny to cleanse the universe of, if we may use their term, blaspheming, heretical, low life, air breathing scum dogs. <laughs> As you must know, the Numlocks and Flagmark were the first races to attack from the core. Later came the Ulek and the Desertoid, when the old empire spurned us, their loving and devoted children, we were forced to pretend allegiance with the Desertoid. Oh, now the truth comes out. None of this back-to-back -back singing songs of friendship crap. All the Desertoid ever do is spout the religious rhetoric. Being diabolically clever, we've managed to convince them that we are water breathers. We've done this by sitting in pools of water whenever we communicate with them. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Tell me more. 
because Zortroid possess effective shielding against missiles, it is necessary to attack them with lasers. Our brilliant scientists are working on this puzzle, but are just on the verge of a major breakthrough. Well, it's a good thing that I always attack with lasers, be lasers because I can't hit with missiles. Of course, the Destroyed are really no match for our warships. In fact, they copied the design from us. The Ulek, on the other hand, come a little closer to matching our strength. Right. We must go now. We're even George Shannon with you. Drop out on sometime. <sighs> Alright. We have now established relations with the Spemin. And we now have good relations with the Spemin, despite the fact that we just destroyed one of their ships. Let's see what's got what kind of cargo they were carrying. Endurium. One cubic meter of endurium. What else have we got? Lead, iron, lead and iron. I don't need any of that. 